what's up guys welcome back to another video here on our channel it is 2021 i can't believe how fast 2020 went but it is a new year and as i've recently shared on my channel and on my instagram if you guys haven't followed on either um all links are down below make sure you guys like comment share and subscribe to our channel because it does help us but anyways let's get into this catch up with me what's been happening um kind of event guys yeah, this is going to be the first like official video here on our channel of 2021 um obviously the rest that we posted were like reactions or like me finding out i was pregnant and i haven't really posted since then so yeah this is kind of like an official video um that's going to be up but yeah i just wanted to come on show my face um put a little bit of makeup on because i have just been super sick um so i'm gonna get into everything in a second but i just quickly want to say that yeah me and wall are super happy we didn't expect this pregnancy at all i have a lot of questions um just you know where have we been how far are you when are you due did you expect it gender all of that so i'm hoping to cover majority of those um but um yeah i just thought i'd shine some light on the pregnancy and how i'm going if you guys haven't already seen or if you're new to this channel welcome um but if you are and you have been here for a little bit you would know a little bit about us announcing that we are pregnant so this is our fourth baby that we will be having and i have just been so mia from youtube so i am currently nine weeks today so the baby is a size of a date which is so crazy to me but yeah i'm nine weeks today this wasn't a planned pregnancy at all um obviously if you guys follow me on instagram it's kind of where i'm a little bit more active um we announced that we lost a baby um at six weeks to an early miscarriage and that was back in september so just after that um it was honestly just a tough time you know having to go back to the hospital get bloods done hcg levels they obviously had to be under a certain number for me to stop going back i was just like mentally physically drained and at the time i had a lot of other stuff going on as well um but yeah me and will kind of talked about it like roughly and i just said you know i don't i just want to like see where things go i don't really want to try um that baby we were trying for so i was very disheartened when i had a miscarriage just because i've never experienced one that was my first miscarriage ever and um yeah i honestly thought that i would never encounter having a miscarriage just because i had three healthy babies and i know um they can obviously happen to anyone and i just i, I just never thought it would happen to me but it did and i got through it and yeah we just said we'll just see where things happen we're not going to rush anything i didn't want to rush anything i just kind of wanted to let things be as they may before my miscarriage i was getting my period at the end of the month um after the miscarriage i was getting it at the beginning or the start of the month so my body was just going through these weird changes and i just didn't like the feeling so i just said you know let's just wait like i don't think we can get pregnant this year um that that was it that was kind of the end of discussion now every month i always just take a pregnancy test it's just something that i've always done just simply because symptoms that i get for when i'm starting my monthly cycle is the same symptoms you get if you're when you're pregnant so i just automatically pick up a pregnancy test every month and take one so this time around i took it like a day or two days before um and i was not expecting it to be positive at all um especially with how close i guess you would say for the miscarriage and then you know we stopped trying like we literally stopped trying um and then all of a sudden i was pregnant so obviously things just aligned when they aligned 
but um yeah that's just a little background story for people who've been asking from like the miscarriage to finding out it's pregnant and like kind of the gist around that do you have a um dating scan coming up as well that on Thursday and then I have a phone appointment with a hospital as well on the 18th which is the following week but um I find it just really weird that you're not allowed to go into the hospital anymore not that I want to because the hospital that I am referred to I will not be going to at all so I'm happy that it's not like face to face just because I can't stand this hospital just because that's where my memories are um, of Leo and I just can't deal with them but yeah I have that and then I need to book in when I get referred with women's and then I do because I'm high risk I do see um, like the top doctors and whatnot of the ward so um, I have to obviously when the time comes get in contact and start making appointments for that and then normally I see them once every week depending um, but because this is my fourth baby and I am having a c-section again yes I am having a c-section and I've had four um, it might be like regularly I'm not so sure I'm um, just because yeah you are a little bit more in a high risk category with having more than three babies um, in a c-section just I can't wait for the scan the dating scan it is a lot more later than what I was meant to have it at um, but I've had like other appointments with my GP just for now and they're just fully booked at radiology so that's why I've had to wait so long and I don't mind waiting um, but some of my scares with this pregnancy obviously because of the miscarriage I did miscarriage at six weeks so from about four weeks to six weeks and maybe a week after so four to seven weeks we'll say i was just very scared that i was going to have another miscarriage so my worry on that was i was always checking that i wasn't bleeding um sometimes i'll get emotional um it's just those thoughts because i had a miscarriage i didn't want to have another one again because i was thinking a lot on the negative stuff i kind of had to snap myself out and say you know what this is a different pregnancy this is a completely you know different baby um everything's going to be fine so um yeah i had to kind of just get into that mind space getting questions um from you guys um saying do i get morning sickness um, does anything trigger it and how do I deal with it so I have been getting morning sickness or I would say all day sickness it's a 24 hour thing with me this time around um, since I hit seven weeks so seven weeks from now this past two weeks have literally been oh, I just can't I have just been vomiting non-stop I can't eat certain like fruits or veggies without me vomiting I don't know I just can't keep them down I have to watch what I'm surrounded with like smells definitely might trigger me if I'm in the car for too long um, I definitely get sick and um, yeah just little things that you wouldn't have thought or I wouldn't have thought before that wouldn't have mattered obviously definitely do matter um, I didn't like wall scent <laughs> please anyone out there if you have had a baby or you're currently pregnant um, or you know someone please let me know in the comments if you just hated the scent of your partner because for a while there I just couldn't be around wall I would put up like pillow barriers in between us because I just could not stand his scent and I was like that with all the other kids as well I just couldn't I don't know what it was I just couldn't his colognes and everything that he would wear just would make me sick um but yeah that's basically what I'm going through at the moment I've only been out of the house like three times in the past two weeks so the girls get bored very easily um and I'm just home i do try to push myself to go out to the shops and just get them out and do something fun for them um, but it takes a lot of res like restraint of myself um, not to vomit anywhere so I think the max I've stayed at the shops 
is probably 20 minutes and that is very short for myself considering I can spend hours with the girls at the shops and they love it um, but yeah it's just uh, trying to get used to all these different elements um, with the new pregnancy and yeah this pregnancy is just completely different and um, another another question was um, is this pregnancy the same as the others and honestly no this pregnancy is completely out the window um, a few people have asked me what I feel um, I'm having and I knew what Leo was I knew what Ava was Natalina I didn't I got it wrong I thought she was a boy but no she's a girl um, this one I have no idea just because it's so different to the other kids that I can't really pinpoint and I know every pregnancy is different um, but sometimes some traits can be similar and I've had none the same so yeah Wall has just been putting up with the moody up and down um, sometimes emotional like if I see something on TV that's like got crying or a scene I've been home for two weeks so obviously Netflix has been my buddy and I have just watched everything but when it comes to the sad scenes I definitely do get very worked up and afterwards I kind of laugh at myself because I'm like what like this is just this is just beyond me I have a question saying about gender um, this is probably gonna be the last one just because I think this is very long already I think I've talked about this before I'm pretty sure um, obviously me and Will lost our son Leo who was a boy and then we got blessed with two beautiful girls um, so we would definitely love to have a boy no doubt um, I think everyone in my family and his family are definitely rooting for us to have a boy um, I would love a little boy I think he would just complete our family but I don't want to jinx anything um, just because a little girl would make us just as happy. We have girls, so I freaking love girls. Like, I do their hair, we get to go to the shops, they're not bothered with staying there. Like, there's just, it's just 50 50 for us. We're just kind of grateful for whatever we get. Um, I think babies are blessings and everything happens for a reason. So, it is um totally not our decision but um yeah that's just my opinion on where the gender stands we are going to do like a gender reveal um our first ever gender reveal so we're gonna have like all the family around and i have to organize when the time is ready but i've just been so sick and i didn't expect myself to be this sick as well I haven't been able or have the strength to really do anything because i'm stuck in a bucket or a toilet bowl vomiting my guts up so i hope you guys just be patient um i hope that this kind of gives you an insight on you know myself pregnancy a little bit of background story answer some of you guys questions and um yeah make sure you guys go follow me on instagram all the links are down below because i'm a lot more active on there than i am here obviously I get to post daily on my Instagram every now and then so definitely go follow me over there and I do keep updates on the baby as well as other things that are happening in our life. So hope you guys have a really good day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.